Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit Junk Journals. And today I have this digital from Paper Tuna. And it has inspired me to create a little folio out of it because I just love all the colors and how it looks. So we're just going to, I thought, all these papers coordinate together to make, you know, one little cute project. I could have made some individual ones, but I thought, no, I want you know, because it is, they do coordinate so well. I just love all of these little details like this little border and this one. So cute. And there's one more. Oh, wait, which one? <laughs> oh, those are two different ones. Okay, so this one and this one and that one too. So anyway, those are really cute. All right, how do we make this folio? Let's get started with that. So I have one of these larger uh, junk mail envelopes, like, you know, the typical junk mail envelope is like this size. And this one, I don't know, a lot of times they're progressive ones or something like that. So this one I have, and I've folded it. I have a little trick for uh, uh, giving it a little bit can use your scoreboard and just like measure whatever this is like oh um oh let's see probably like half of a centimeter or something like that it's it's a little larger than a half a centimeter so uh but anyway uh the thing that i do <laughs> is i pull this one back um, about a half a centimeter. So I just pull that back and then I crease it and then I flip it over and I pull it back the same exact amount and crease it. And then I ended up with this. Yeah. So that is Kelly's relational measuring for getting a centered and look at so I obviously, I glued down your, the tab to the junk mail envelope. It does have a window. I'm going to cover it up today. Sometimes you can kind of embrace that. And if you, if you do decide to do this differently from mine, at this point, you could put a little paper in there and glue it in and you can see it through the window, but we're not, we're not doing that. I'm not doing that today. You can do it, but at any rate, I have trimmed off both of the ends so I can have nice little pockets in both sides. And I am ready. I do have some other junk mail. So if you're already getting into your junk mail envelopes uh, for smaller pockets, I think I'm just gonna use this one and it's about the size of one half with a little bit of a border in between like two millimeters all around. I'm gonna try to get it as close to that center crease uh, as I can. And what I mean by that is, so here's the spine to this crease on that side. Put that right on the edge, but not yet. We're gonna cover this with this uh, lovely digital from Paper Tuna. Did I say it was from Paper Tuna? Anyway, I love the links. There's a, there's a, Paper Tuna also has like a giveaway going on right now. So it's, it closes October 2nd. So I'm trying to get this video in here before the giveaway is, um, expires, but at any rate, sorry, I'm just playing. I found this thing and now I'm playing. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Distracto. That's me. All right, so I had one of these that I wanted to use for the cover, and that was this one. So, boom, shoot. I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty awesome. And then I'm just going to glue this on. <laughs> I'm going to trim around this. I got a little edge there of white. I did pre-trim the white border off of the digitals. If you, I don't know, I just forgot to, to bring it all the way to the edge, but you can do that if you have a printer that does that, where it prints all the way to the edge, no border. So if your printer has that option, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to trim it a little, and then I'm going to fold it over where that little 
slit is and match up the edges. And then that way my paper should be theoretically straight. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna trim it inside the crease. Start gluing it down. I did kind of ink all around the edge. I, I think I missed an edge. Let me do it with my walnut stain. Just around that outside edge. So that brown, that orange looks a little more brown. That's all. So if it peeks out, it'll just be a little less orange, more brown. Okay, here we go. Loop de loop. And just and I do want it to go all the way up to the edges on these edges and I'm realizing and I might have to hold this like this this bottle it's got this flappy thing I might have to hold this down when I'm gluing because that flappy thing keeps dipping or do I need to go over here? Oh, a lot further. Okay. Yeah, it works a lot better with uh, holding that with my thumb while I'm gluing. Just press that all the way down. Make sure we got our glue to the edges. Ooh, it's looking pretty great. Crease in there, just re recrease it just so it's nice and happy. Just like the little trees in Bob Ross's paintings. <laughs> just like that. Okay, now you can add a little little bit over here, over here. What do we do? I think I might go and add something. Not that. I like this little flower right here. This little smidge. We're going to overlap it. Maybe we don't have to worry about anything happening. Ooh. I'm going to have to fix that, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't trim it correctly. That's okay. You can do it. Oh, geez. It's like exact. I don't know how I managed that, but I did. So we're going with it. I'm going to glue this this time. I'm going to hold that <laughs> flap. Oh. How long will it take me to form that habit? Who knows? <laughs> I hope you saw my Franken paper uh, videos. Those were quite fun to do. And of course, I have the Georgia retreat coming up. So I hope you will join Joy and I at the retreat in December. Very excited about it. And I was thinking it'll be a good opportunity for me to get some of my gifts. Uh, projects done so I can you know make some gifts for Christmas because it's right before Christmas and have some dedicated time I really love this big rose I want this to go right here I love this section and I'm gonna put a scrappy notebook on this side so you'll be able to see it when you flip it up yep and yeah, flip it up. Well, I got a little situation happening here. <laughs> All right, I'll take it to there and then to here and then trim it there. Okay. Now we're gonna put, we've got our little slit and then we line up these edges just nice and nice. 
Okay. Could do a tearing ruler. It's a little faster. There we go. All right. Glue this down. Right like so. Very good. Hold that down. All across there. I really want all my oh dear it's like it's a little wonky with the glue there how far does this go over okay look that far oh my edges that is art glitter glue that i'm using just so you know Make sure we don't glue our pocket shut. See how that is. Kind of press down these edges. Ooh, that glued very nicely. Okay, look at that. We'll just press these little creases. Press the creases. I know I should let them dry, right? Too soon, too soon. Okay. There we go. And then I'll add a little ink. A little ink to that eventually. Alright, we'll use the... Well, that's, that's very pretty right there. I don't want to hack up a butterfly. But maybe this guy right here. I might. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what to do. Indecisive. Oh, I think I'm just going to go... I don't know if that's going to care. <laughs> okay, that worked. And how wide? Like this wide? How long? A little more. Okay. Now I can put this one here. I'll just take off a little of that. See if that's long enough. <laughs> okay, we got our glue. Oh my gosh, I remembered. It's a miracle. to oh dear that's how you glue your table your desk that's how you do it all right we are looking good let's open this up make sure that stays open and i think it matches even though that orange does stick out in some places it looks pretty good now let's move on. So we've got our, our cover base done, all covered with pretty paper. Now let's switch gears onto a notebook. So I realized I've got these two different pieces of dyed paper from uh, Jean. Thank you, Jean, for giving me some of this lovely, lovely paper that she likes to do. And I love these staggered 
notebooks and I should do a video on this because I just figured this out today and I really like this idea. So what I'm going to do is make it a little bit shorter than the side and then I'm going to fold it and a little shorter than the top. So here we go. Fold that. And I am going to have some scraps, but that's okay. It's okay. This. So we're folding it like that. And then I'm going to take it over here. I know, this is crazy. So anyway, which one? Yeah. Is that right? Hold on. No, it isn't. So I'm folding. I'm, so right here, this is the bottom of my of my notebook. So I'm trimming it right there, right at the bottom of that line, right here. A little below that line is fine. So these are my scraps. And then I only need this to be half size. So hopefully I can just trim it right in the middle and that'll be good. If not, I'll trim a little off. But for now, we're going halfsies on this guy. And then I will basically have two notebooks just like that. Two staggered notebooks at that. So here we go. That goes right in there. And look at, I've got a staggered notepad. Notepad? Yeah, that's what I meant. And then we can try to use, so I don't even need that one. This one's like a, a spare. And that's my cover, so don't use that paper. And then maybe a little, I think this piece right here. Yes. As my notebook cover. We'll just make it a little wider than that. And I'm just gonna, you know, it's like a little fold over top over at the top so that's why I wanted to make it a little shorter but I'm thinking I may just go right up to the edge on that get out my little mini stapler go once in the middle I'm doing it right at the top I think that's just gonna be best there we go and then I can trim these off I know I thought I was gonna leave it but Mm, not so much. Get little scraps out of the way. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? And then we can just glue that right in there. Uh, before I do that, let me just see where my mark is here. I wanted to give it a little divot. I think I might have to trim this notebook a little bit. I just need a little space. You can really see that pocket on the side. So I see that my staples are a little leaning this way. So I'm just going to pull that in. I want to go this way. I may have to run through this a couple times to get it all off. No, no, like that. Okay. So then I could put it right to this edge and then they'll leave me a little room for a divot. So let's just get out our circle punch. Do I even have a circle punch in here? Of course I do. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I was scared for a second. I better leave that out. Leave it out. Okay. So, and I may end up taking some of these edges, like this edge, and just gluing it just inside that envelope. I think I like the look of that a little better. Okay, we'll just bring it here, take it up to there, and I'm I'm giving that a solid uh, millimeter on the inside so it fits in there because it's a lot skinnier than the outside, and that worked out. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue that in there like so. I just glanced at the camera. I see. I, I saw. I got a message back from 
my oldest Max and Max. I, I think I sent some shenanigans, weird, funny stuff <laughs> this morning. So usually around lunchtime, there's a little Facebook messenger checking and then hopefully Max is entertained by my shenanigans. Max at least appreciates my sense of humor. <laughs> oh, gosh, am I going to get it in there before it dries? Ah, all this glue sometimes. Oh, it's, I'm struggling. I'm going to have to trim it. Get that, that piece didn't quite make it. <laughs> Almost could fold that over it, so it might be best. This part I will trim. other part. You know, I might want to do is just uh, put a little ink in there, brown it up. So stark white. I know it's like very tempting to just like take your envelope totally apart and line the inside and then line the out, <laughs> put it back together, and then cover the outside. <laughs> it's, it's very tempting. All right, you know, I've got the compulsive inking, so here we go, loop de loo with that. Okay, just a little, just a little, a little, little bit, a little. All right, I'm super excited about this notebook technique, because that, cause sometimes they can be kind of time-consuming. So then I'm just going to... Uh, glue this down right at the staple and that's it I'm honestly if you wanted and just inside that crease if you wanted you could replace this after you use the notebook up you could just pull it right out of there and put another notebook in because I'm thinking this will be like a really cute purse uh folio or something like that Aren't these colors pretty? Oh, I accidentally ended up with a duplicate butterfly. That doesn't matter. You know why it doesn't matter? Because we're going to put a pocket right here. Yes, we are. And we are going to need to cover this. So what wonderments do we have? I really like this. Oh, I love the bird. I think the bird is what has to happen. I don't know. I really like this spot also. Like right there. Hmm many choices. Okay. Nope. I think... Wait. Hold on. No, this... Oh, I can't decide. Yeah, I'm going with the bird. I'm going with the bird. That's what's going to happen. I'm just going to glue it down. See where it goes. I get my glue. Oh, forgot that time. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can do it, thumb. Thumb. <laughs> I guess that's a two-handed process, holding that down. So today it is, anyway, this time. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, kind of a stressful morning. I just, I, I had this blood test I thought I was having today, and I thought I need to make sure this is correct. I don't know what I was thinking, but I really, I, I, I don't know if I missed something today, but I thought it was supposed to be today. And now I'm worried that it was something else I was supposed to do today that I had that time in my head. Cause I mean, I had like 1030 on Thursday morning. I have this thing and then suddenly they didn't show up. So it was like a come to your house kind of a blood test where they, and the, the lady for like genetic testing, um, for like cancers and stuff. So I was like thinking to myself, well, she's like, oh, it's got this thing. You might as well do it. And I was thinking, oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Then I don't have to go to the appointment. Then all of a sudden I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this person's going to, I was imagining like this mobile van or truck or something. And then all of a sudden it occurs to me, what if they just come into my house? <laughs> like dogs that bark and so if they come into my house that's not that good of a thing <laughs> I'd rather go to an appointment and I'm thinking oh gosh I gotta clean my house and <laughs> get all these crafts put away 
Oh gosh. So, but the worst part is the dogs kind of throwing up fit about it. So, you know. <laughs> okay, so that goes here. Now, if I do this, I really have to just use this pocket. So I'll use this pocket and then I'll have this pocket. But nothing else. Like, I can't, I don't want to use that, I don't think. I mean, I could, but uh, should I? No, I have plenty of pockets on this thing. We're just gluing it down straight. We can do it. It'll be fine. Okay, that time I did it one-handed. All right, here we go with the glue. Yeah, I am liking this little glue bottle. I like it. So I hope you do check out Paper Tuna. I really like this digital. It's just got a lot of other digitals, so check it out. Okay, I gotta get it right to the edge. That's what I wanted. There we go. And then let it dry before you lift it up and poke it around. <laughs> we'll let that dry. I'm going to come back and I'm going to add a divot. Because uh, I like to say divot. <laughs> apparently. And I guess I should have done this divot. But I didn't. So we're just going to have to do a very tiny one. The littlest, tiniest divot. I was hoping that that would it be a little closer but it wasn't okay so now when you kind of open this I'm thinking oh look at that but I have a fix for that and I could use this paper but I wanted to make it a little thicker paper so hopefully this works I may have to let me just cover um I don't know why am I being so picky about this I don't know not you <laughs> I don't want to use that one because I don't want to interrupt. Here, maybe this one. Okay. So, if I use, I'm just going to glue this down on this side. And then it'll make this paper double-sided. Because this is going to be our outside flap. Yes. So, it's kind of like a built-in closure kind of a situation. Okay. That. So, I'm just trying to think, balancing out having this little flap in the way is still worth it from losing the little pin needle all the time. <laughs> if you know what I mean. If you have one of these and you have the pin and your art glitter glue, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I can waste years of my life looking for that pin. So this just eliminates the whole need for the pin. All right. I'll just trim around this little piece of paper. It does not match that digital so well. I don't know where this came from. I think it came from... Um, my Manitowoc friend Robin, Art on Clark Robin, uh, she, not my retreat Robin. <laughs> I know I felt bad because we were at, where were we at? We were, we were at Art on Clark and Amy was there and she thanked Art on Clark Robin for the embellishments from her. And I was like, oh no, that was retreat Robin. <laughs> She's like, oh, <laughs> she was being really nice and, uh, and thanking her and it was the wrong Robin I mean I mean fair that she thought it was because it, it's a little odd that I would have two crafty Robin friends so all right so I'm just gonna poke this in here Ooh, it's too long too wide Trim, trim, right off this end. Oh, I don't know how that happened. That's weird. 
Now we'll try her again. This is what I want on the inside. Oh, look at that. It almost like matches. That's kind of freaky. Crazy. I got like weird pieces coming out of there. We'll fix them. We'll just trim them right off. Fix it right up. Okay, so this is going to be my closure, I believe. I'm not going to glue it in yet just because I want to make sure we're all hunky dory. I was going to kind of make use this like envelope thing as a template. I don't know if I should. Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah, something like that. Or if it, I should just use a corner rounder. Uh, let me try this again. I think I like this side better on the outside. Hold on. Scooch in there. Oh yeah, I like that better. Okay, good thing. Good thing, see? If I glued it down. I'm just going to give this a little, a little taper. So it fits in that. <laughs> I just knocked that right off of the world's smallest desk. Yes, I do. But the reason I do is because it's the only way I can manage it. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be just piles anyway. So this is how I manage it. Yep. So this is going to glue in like that. And when you open it, it's going to say VIP. That's cool. I like it. Well, we're going to pull out the corner rounder. I'm thinking and do a big, do our biggest one. Like this guy right here. No, I could have used my chomper, but, you know, how does that look? We're just going to do it like this to test it. Ah, that's really pretty. It's so pretty. I think I'm ready. I can commit to gluing this down now. Can she do it? Hopefully, I don't glue the pocket shut. That's the, that's the risk we're taking. Put this in here. Yep, dip my finger right in there. Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Now, I'm going to press it down every which way. Okay. Make sure this corner goes right up to that. There, I like that. Ooh, nice. Don't glue down up the pocket. Yeah, my fingers are so gluey crummy. I don't like it. Okay. So far, so cute. <laughs> and then I have these that I pre free whatever you call it and actually this will work out that this is a pocket because i really should have done this a long time ago if i didn't have these side pockets right here that's kind of gonna save me so i like to put a little tiny brad in there that's the old thing i like to do let's see what colors this yellow is kind of pretty Put it like right square in the middle. I mean, nothing's stopping me. As long as this fits here. And that goes there. Like so. Does that look weird? Okay, you don't move. No, I think it looks good. Perfectly acceptable. Punch a hole right in there dig down into my pocket put the brad in there I could probably just put a little something so that whatever you put in that pocket doesn't get caught 
maybe. And then this one, just make sure it's lined up. We'll get the same kind of color one. I know I don't I don't make any good efforts to make sure that this is the same same. I just go for it. You could measure it. It's up to you. Which way do we go here? That looks good. Now, the one thing I did forget to do is put the string in here. So I've got some Baker's twine, which I think looks pretty nice on these. It's got this sort of like, I don't know, it's like peach, coral, something along those lines. Okay. Oh, is this even gonna fit through there? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I may have to make that hole a little bigger, but I don't really want to. I don't want to make the hole bigger. How should we do this? I need to wet it, but I don't want to do any licky business. Nobody wants that. Um, what kind of glue? I've got this. I've got fray check. I could try doing that. I don't know if you're supposed to touch fray track, fray check. Um, are you sure that fray check has been open before? Um, it doesn't really look like that hole is much of anything. Let's poke it with a needle. We're really good at that. Just poke it. Oh, sure. Yeah, just... Just a little stop it, stop up, stopped up. Why are you messing with your fray jack? I don't know. Let's try it. Water. I could have just used water. I thought this would be a permanent solution. Forget it. <laughs> that was not worth the effort. All right. How about some hand sanitizer? <laughs> well, that's what that's what's gonna happen. And sand. I have so much glue on my fingers. It's ridiculous. This just feels like it, this it, Baker's Twine is way too wide for this hole. It feels like it's never going to go through there. Okay, let me try this thing. Why don't you just poke a bigger hole? Oh, come on. That would be too easy. gonna go through this time yes it is <laughs> okay so you know I mean it'd probably be okay but I'm just gonna trim that off <laughs> that little weird end I hand sanitized to make it into a point and then I'm going to put the bread through the closure and then I'm gonna put the bread through the hole and then I'm going to open it up and then I can always glue this down. Mm -hmm. A little glue here and there and everywhere. Okay, that's nice. And then we can cover it with something like a little, I have this cute little piece of fabric in here that I just chucked in here. Look at that little fabric, isn't it cute? Yes, it is. And we'll just cover that up with this cute little scrap. There we go. Nice. Now we've got a little closure and it wraps around these nicely. How many, how many times around do we need? I don't know. We'll just leave it like that. Maybe we'll add a little bead. Mayhaps. Look how cute this is. Okay. That's pretty good for a folio. 40 minutes. I'm happy with that. And look at, I mean, 
you don't even have to decorate the cover because it's just beautiful. And we've got a closure and we've got our little our little notebook, which we might have to trim this edge so we don't have any bendy bendy business. Yeah, we'll just trim it. There we go. So we've got a packet here. We, ooh, we still need to put our divot in. Can we do it? Sure we can. Woo! Try that again. Put it in this way. Flip it over. See how big our divot is. There we go. There we go. And then I could even, if I wanted to, I can make... Let's just go over the pocket. So we've got a pocket here, got a pocket here, got a pocket here. And I need to trim, or trim, get my glue a little better on that edge. There we go. That stays put. And a scrappy little notebook. And I would call that a little handy organizer for a little purse. You know, a little travel companion to take notes and keep receipts, things like that. That's pretty cute. And if I wanted, I did have some uh, whale tail tabs over here that I thought would look nice with it, but I, I never really needed them. So, but if I end up making some pocket ephemera, then surely I can add some lovely whale tails like so. I don't know, it does look kind of cute right there if I just add that, just like right there. I don't think it'll work because of the, the notepad, notebook in there. But anyway, and it's an idea. They really have to come out the top because there's nowhere else for them to go. <laughs> just out there. That's the only place that would work. And this little, little guy could do like a, right here. Oh, that would be nice, and then you wouldn't have to worry about the divot showing. All right, now let's look in the front, see how we like it. It is, it's cute. Do we like it better this way? No, it's kind of blank. Hold on, let me try this one. Do we like that one? Oh no, I don't know if I can even decide. I think that's the one. Yeah, that's cute. Just make it a it's just a tab. It's cute though. I think maybe a little button on it, perhaps. Yeah. Or a little label or something. These are really big. I'm running out of small ones. They are all big. I think these are all the same size ones from, but where's my little, here we go. Let's try, Could do one of these fun little numbers. Fun little number. Not that one, not that one, maybe this one. Or, hold on. This one? I don't know. It it totally changes the look of it. And I it's the right size though. <laughs> I really want one of these turquoise ones. Oh wait. Hold on. Maybe this little guy. There, I like that a lot better. Lots of lots of better. That was a, a lot of glue for a tiny little number. There we go. Now let's see how we like. Oh, it's a little crooked. Sometimes I like them crooked. There we go. Okay, now you can see it. Yeah, that's cute. The other ones were like too, a little too intense or something, something. Intense. I do one of these down here. Oh, that does look nice. That looks really good. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we are gonna add something to the cover. Because it, it just goes so well. Look at that. Oh, it's very cute. Purse organizer. Yes. 
So this is the kind of project you could make at the retreat to give to your friends and your loved ones and your, your granddaughter that happens to be a tween or a tweener. <laughs> a tween <laughs> or older children, you know, any like female between the ages of like 10 and 99 would love this. After 99, and then you don't have purse organizers anymore. You're not worrying about that anymore. Then you're like, I don't have to organize anything. I'm 99. I've lived in long enough not to worry about it. <laughs> That's my theory. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this cute little project. Um, I hope you'll check out the digital at Paper Tuna. I will have the links in the description. And as always, thanks for coming along. And I'll talk to you later.